So Starbucks Verismo coffee is so good, but the pods are way too expensive. So what do you do to get cheaper Verismo pods? Check out this entire video to find out. So Verismo pods are good, but they're usually gonna run you about a dollar a piece. And so where do you get cheaper pods? And I recommend CBTL coffee bean and tea leaf pods for your Verismo machine. Now here's the big question, do they work in the Verismo machine, and there's all this kind of debate online about it, and yes, they absolutely do. CBTL pods offer a great variety of flavors and styles for drip coffee and espresso, and any of these pods right here will run you about $11 for 16 pods. That is about 69 cents per pod, and if you subscribe on like Amazon, you can get all the way down to 65 cents. Now, when you when we're talking about as low as 65 cents a pod, we're getting to Keurig prices. And Keurigs, I've tried those, they're good, it's good for some drip coffee, but you can't make the good espresso that you can make with the Verismo. And you could go on Amazon.com right now, and by the way, there's links to different uh, things I'm talking about in this video in the description below. And uh, check on, on Amazon and you'll see that even the curry pods are about 61 cents per pod. So now with these prices, with the CBTL pods, you're right in that arena and the coffee is incredible. Let's try some out. Our coffee samplers today are Abby. Hey. Miguel. Hello. And Rosie. Two of my favorite CBTL pods are the Continental Espresso and the Italian Espresso. Okay, so let's do an espresso shot. We're gonna start off by, of course, heating the glass. You always wanna make sure you heat your mugs or your glasses before you pour your espresso in there. You would never wanna pour your delicious espresso into a cold glass or mug. All right, the CBTL pod goes in there perfect, and now let's pull a shot. Mm. Okay, so we have a great shot of espresso. No grounds or anything in the espresso shot as is sometimes people have said happens. I have seen that happen every once in a while but it very rarely happens. This is the Continental Espresso. Tasted by Abby. Delicious. Now let's try a latte. Now in this case, I'm still gonna use the Verismo milk because I don't know where else to get milk and so that's gonna run you a little more. I personally don't really drink lattes, but let's check it out. Okay, so we've heated up our glass. We're gonna put in our milk. Get rid of a little bit of that extra water. Hit the milk button. So naturally, one advantage of a Verismo over a Keurig is the ability to do lattes. And so now we, all, we use the Starbucks uh, Verismo milk pods and we're gonna just do a shot of the Italian espresso and make a little latte here. Let it heat and reset. Now this latte hasn't been stirred up or anything, but we're gonna serve this up. Abby's going two in a row. You gonna try the latte need, really quick? I think mm. we need to get one of these. They're really good. It's just a Keurig, right? With those it's tokens? not a Keurig though. It's a Verissima. No, that's really good. The, it's a good latte. It's delicious. We need yeah. to get one of these. So you're using of our crap. the Starbucks creamer, Star Starbucks milk pod, mm. and then uh, meats. Uh, I believe that one was an Italian espresso or what the continental I forget I feel better now I'm drinking coffee you can just see the beautiful flavor there again coffee bean tea leaf little foam produced by the Verismo a Keurig would never do that Miguel no no it would not and uh, once again pulled a great shot so those two pods were so far have been working well and let's create one more drink that is the Irish cream special so we can also pull coffee with our Verismo. So we're gonna do iris cream, and I'm going to add a little bit of peppermint mocha for the ultimate peppermint mocha combination. Pour a little bit of peppermint mocha creamer in there, and then I just throw in the peppermint creamer in the microwave uh, to heat it up before I uh, pull the coffee. And so we will drop that in and hit the coffee button. So one thing that you just won't see with a, uh, that's really hot, so we'll let that cool down for a second, but you never see with the Keurig is even this foam on just a cup of coffee. And so this is the most creamy, Irishy 
beverage that you will ever try. The Irish cream pod meets a little bit of peppermint <sighs> mocha. So let's let that cool down and we'll check it out in just a moment. Okay, so our Irish cream has been cooling down for just a bit. You wanna try that out? It's still a little warm, so sip it. Yes, sir. Oh. Mm. Good. Oh, that's very good, minty. Okay, we're gonna do one other taste test here on this. Rosie, that's not good for you. So as you can see, CBTL pods work great in the Brismo machine. They taste great, I love them, and uh, they're a great price. And I get all of my pods off of uh, Amazon.com. And like I said, the different flavors and stuff that I like, I'll throw all those kinds of links in the description below. And uh, just one note, I haven't used this for tea. I know there's been some issues with the particular tea pods or chai tea or anything. I just haven't tried that. So if you've had any experience with that, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. And again, some people's issue is uh, grounds in their coffee. There have been times where even on these Intensos where they kind of feel hard, like maybe the pods are expired and then they have some weird, uh, you know, uh, issues with maybe some grounds, but I don't know if it's as much of the pods fault as it is Maybe they were sitting in a warehouse too long and of course Amazon will always refund and return a bad batch So uh, hey, thanks for checking out this video and uh, we're always shooting uh, video blogs other things on this channel So subscribe if you haven't and then you can always leave comments in the comments below and I would appreciate hitting that like button If it was helpful and other than that, we'll talk soon later. If you like this video, you'll probably enjoy some of the cooking videos that we've made. So you can click right here to check out a playlist of cooking videos on the Sean Thinks channel. Rosie the dog.